We're here to talk about what I think is the next challenge we have potentially facing us, which is a new fusarium wilt that is moving from the west to the east. And showed up in California. Um, it's now in West Texas. CI is working on it. Cotton board is going through the process of getting extra funds from USDA to work on this. Um, it's like one we have never seen before. This particular fusarium um, doesn't necessarily carry along with nematodes. You know, where you normally see nematodes, you might see the fusarium. So it's out there all to itself. Um, <coughs> nobody's been able to stop it yet today. We don't really see it in the Delta because it hadn't gotten here. This is one for us as cotton growers that we have to deal with. You're not gonna get Monsanto or Bayer to deal with this. This is what we got the check off for. Because this is a cotton issue and this is where we put our money. Bob, has been working on this for some time. Uh, the Pima people have had to see this in the past. He's going to show you some slides later on that's going to show you where there's some Pima varieties that are very susceptible and some that are very tolerant. But as far as upland cotton, we don't have that. But, Bob, would you say in the last five years this thing's really moved across? We believe so. And the best, the best thing we can do is be ahead of the curve. When this thing, it's not a matter if it makes it to the Mid-South, it's a matter of when. We need to be ahead of the curve. We're spending, we're spending our research dollars to get ahead of it. Because this isn't one that you're gonna find an industry to do. This is, this is the cotton industry itself. You know, it shows up at any stage. Uh, cause, you know, normally shows up when it's too late to replant. Uh, it's associated with root knot nematodes, but it is not bound to root knot nematodes. Okay? <coughs> That's what makes it difficult. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. But those, those, this picture is basically about root knot nematodes. It's not about the fusarium. But, you know, it shows up in the picture uh, what the nematodes can do. That side's got Timic, that side's got Timic, and there's like six rows in the middle with no Timic in the nematodes. I've eaten them up. Uh, this this is happening out in West Texas. Uh, and this is what we're talking about, the new wilt. Came from Australia. It was first observed here. I guess about 15 years ago. 
and uh, you know, nematodes all work on sandy, at least in my part of the world. They all seem to appear on, on light dirt, sandy soil. This wilt shows up in clay dirt. You know, but I, I just want to make everybody aware of, of, of the, the latest threat to the industry. Is this FOV4. You know, hopefully we have this meeting, bobbing and figured out, and we don't have to worry about it. But I think for us in the Delta and the Southeast, this thing is going to keep coming. Best we can do is try to keep it over in West Texas as long as we can for right now. You know, we made it through the bow weevil. We're going to make it through this. Thank God that the Cotton Board, Cotton Incorporated, we have the, the organization in place to, to work with this. You know, and that is... Open.